Hey, good morning. Uh, Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, I'm just stopping by the bank to make a deposit and I wanted to show you guys something. Maybe you could understand a little bit about things that people do that cause problems um, here at the bank. Let me just show you. So you can see um, this is Bank of America and of course the teller system is long gone now. You use the ATMs. This is how you drive around to the ATMs. And you'll notice right here a sign, and they marked it. It says danger washout. And what they've done is they've created a dry riverbed. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. And the reason being is, you can see the erosion underneath of the drive. What happens is, this is actually promoting drainage. It's not solving any problems, it's promoting drainage. You know, gravel, perforated pipe, all these things, it collects water, it lets water run through it quite quickly. So, as it rains more and more, water runs through this system that they put in here, and it's discharging, yes, it goes down into a retention area, but it's creating more of a washout. This takes place um, in, in mass quantities along the beach, uh, Great Lakes especially, where you see along the Great Lakes especially, um, you know, they put all that gravel and, and big rocks um, all along the shore. It just creates more of a problem, more of the beach washes out. If you watch the Weather Channel and you see uh, the hurricanes that come through the coast, especially in Cape Hatteras, um, you'll see, well I should say, let's say Daytona, um, where the hotels have built, you know, all along the waterfront, right on the beach and they put up these retaining walls and then they put these great big rocks it's called riprap but it's bigger and as the tide washes through that rock it just pulls that sand right back out and causes more of a problem you'd kind of think that the engineers would understand this after you know 30 40 50 100 years and some places do um, places along the outer banks they do replenish that with sand and that's what's needed not not riprap not rocks and that's a great example of it. So hopefully you learned something.